Hi guys, in today's video, we will explore about the usage and benefit of Iperius Remote Administrative Panel. But before going any further, let me tell you one thing. If you want to get the access to Admin Panel, then you must need to buy the subscription. And there are three types of subscriptions. The first one is small. In small, you can do two concurrent connections at a time. The second one is medium, and in medium, you can do five concurrent connections at a time. And the last one is professional, and in professional subscriptions, it covers from 10 up to 200 connections simultaneously. Let's explore how can we use the admin panel. First open the application, and once it is open, take a look on the right top. You will see few options. From these options, you have to tap on this option, which is called administrative panel. Once you will tap on it, you will be redirected to the administrative panel. The first thing which will appear is stats, and in the stats, you can take a lot of different things, like you can check the number of session per day. But if you want to check the number of session of a whole month, then tap on this arrow icon and select month. Then you will get the stats of whole month. And if I scroll down, this one is the duration of sessions. With the help of this, you can check the duration of each session. Let's scroll more. And it's for both means with the help of this graph. And you can check the numbers and duration of a single session. And if I take my mouse cursor to a specific one, you can see I performed a session of 33 minutes with this device. Let's scroll down more. This one is number and duration of incoming session group. This graph will help you to check the data of a whole group not for a single device. You can see I do a 39 minute session of with this group. If I scroll more, the last one is the number and duration of session per operator. It's the same as above. But what if you have too many groups in user and you want to get the data of a specific group? Then no need to worry because Iperius Remote has a feature and with the help of this feature, you can get the data of a specific group. And how can you get it? Scroll up. And here's the option, Group Filter. Just tap on it. And from here, you have to select that group of which you want to check the data. Just for showing you, I'll select Shared Group. And this one is User. Tap on it and select your user. Select the Start Date and End Date. And after selecting, tap on the option Apply Filters. After applying, you will get the statistics of a specific group and user. And here you can see now everything has been changed. The next thing we will explore in the administrative panel is sessions. So I am tapping on it. Here you will get all the info of your all sessions, but for now the selected sessions info is of my address book. So that's why I am tapping on this option, include computers not in address book. And I'll uncheck it. And then tap on this option search. And you can see. Now I can check the history of my all sessions. If I scroll down, here I can also check the date and time. Let's scroll up. And one more thing you can do here is just like we did in the stats. If you have too many groups and users, then by using this group filter, you can get the data of a specific group or of a user. You have to select that group and user and then select start and end date and then tap on this option search. And one more thing you can do is you can export it to an Excel file. Just tap on this option, export to eXL. Then it will start downloading and you will get the Microsoft Excel file. Now it's downloaded and here you can see the Excel file. Let's head back to the administrative panel. Now the next one is active session. Tap here and you can check all the active session. Currently I have a single active session and you can see all the info of it like destination ID, name and IP address. If you want to terminate it, then tap on this icon and scroll down. And here you can see the option terminate. Tap here and this session will be terminated. The next feature is user, tap on it. In this session, you can see all the users, but currently I am a single user. So let's add another user and how can you do it? You just have to tap on this option, add user. For adding a new user, first you have to write the email of that user and then you have to write the name last name and the password, then retype the password. Last and most important thing is role always be careful while in choosing the role. So first let me fill these five, and then we will assign a role for this user. After writing all, the last one is role. As I told you before, be careful when choosing the role, because there are two roles. First one is user, and the next one is admin. If you set it to admin, then this person will be the admin, and he can get all the access like you have as an admin. So that's why I said, 
Be careful while choosing the role, as I will choose a role user. This user will be assigned to my shared computer groups. It's set by the default, and you cannot change it. And now tap on the option Save. Now it's saved. Let's go back and see this user. And you can see a new user has been added to my panel. Now let's check the info of this user by tapping on this arrow. And you see the default group for this user is Shared Computer. Time to explore the fifth feature which is Group. Currently I have five groups and you can see the list of my groups. Let's create a new group by tapping on this option, Add Group. The first thing for a group is, you have to write the name. The next one is Note, this one is Email. This one is the address, and last one is Phone Number. But without writing a name, all the other things are optional. If you don't want to write these four, then no need to worry because these are optional. But you have to write the name, so that's why I am writing the name for showing you. After writing the name, remaining things are the additional, so if you want to write, then write, but if you don't want, then leave it, and tap on Save. And a new group has been created on the fourth number. This is a group which I created now. But if I create a new user, then that user will be assigned to the shared computer. Next one is Computers, tap on it. Here you can check the history of your address book. These four devices are in my address book, so that's why I can check the history of these four. And the other thing is a license, tap on it. In the license section you can check your company name, expiration date, and this one is logged user window. Here is my name, account, and my ID. Here is my own role, and this one is by email on which I purchased the license and also I can change the name of mine by tapping on it. And here, I need to write a new name. Just for example, I will write this and tap on this. And the name will be changed. And you can see the company name has been modified. I hope after watching my video, you will know all about the usage and the benefit of administrative panel.